Yo, what is up guys? JRZ Saiyan here and I want to say first of all, I'm really sorry I couldn't give you th this video yesterday guys. I was out of town with family, but thankfully I did get here. You're getting this tomorrow, today. So I got this, uh, I recorded this yesterday night or like around midnight or one in the morning. Alright, well anyways, this is the review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 2, which I did get to see and uh, guys, I gotta say, uh, I am so, so happy that Dragon Ball Super, just Dragon Ball is back, and it's so, I don't, I don't know, I still can't believe Dragon Ball is actually back, and it's crazy just to think that, you know, after so long, we have a new series coming, and it's getting better. Every episode's only been two episodes, but it, the first one was really good, the second one was even better, and <laughs> it was just pretty amazing. Alright, so let's start off with a quick spoiler and review of episode two all right so vegeta goes on a family trip <laughs> all right so the the episode starts off with flashbacks of the previous episode and it uh you know hercule was giving goku the the prize money and eventually goku did take it thanks to goten finally convincing him that he could train with king kai that chi chi would let him so um it it uh fast forwards to uh king kai driving his car right and he's driving with uh bubbles and gregory and driving around you know, having having a nice time and uh, uh goku you know he instant transmission in the last episode so he is transmission like in front of the car and king kai kind of like screams and he's like ah and, <laughs> and he kind of like swerves into his house <laughs> and i was like and goku just kind of like face palm and he, he just started laughing like <laughs> and then from there it, it shows goku eating and king kai and gregory and bubbles are fixing up the house and <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, pretty much Goku's over there munching out with a giant ass bowl of rice and noodles and whatnot. Whatever he eats, whatever King Kai feeds him, right? So, so yeah. Uh, so from there, it um, Goku kind of King Kai says, "I'm not, I'm not." He says some something somewhere around, "I'm not a 24-hour motel or something like that." Like you, you keep destroying my, my, you know, my home, bro, and. I mean, you already have. If I finally got my house back, my planet back, and look, look what you're doing. You just and then, <laughs> so Goku switches. And Goku's like, "Oh, come on, world friends. It's okay." <laughs> he pulled out the friend card. Well, anyways, Goku uh, switches into some training gear and some like training tracksuit thing, and it looks pretty badass. Not gonna lie. All right, so Goku, uh, you know, goes on to train. So it uh, skips while you know he's training. Uh, it skips forward to. Vegeta. Well, it skips forward to um, Trunks and Bulma. They're driving, or they're, dri they're flying, and um, it's kind of like Trunks wakes up and Bulma says some stuff and whatnot. I did watch it in Japanese, by the way, and I didn't, I didn't get to watch the the sub version while I'm recording this. I'm gonna watch it right after because I just didn't have a lot of time. I'm really tired. Anyways, so yeah, uh, it's the um. Bulma, yeah, so it's showing them flying, and then Vegeta is on top, and I guess Vegeta says something like, hurry up woman, or we're taking forever, or some, probably something in that, in that sense, I'm going just off pure, you know, what I'm seeing, I'm just using, I'm inferencing, inferencing and whatnot, and so Bulma kind of like smiles, and she just like hauls ass, starts spinning, going in the water, flying in the water, <laughs> which is freaking crazy, she like dives into the water, dives out, goes through a bunch of trees, and you know they finally get to their destination which is a family vacation it's like a giant theme park like Disney World type of thing so yeah so pretty much Bulma was uh, disobeying sky traffic laws and went into the ocean and Vegeta is not satisfied was, wants nothing to do with the trip so pretty much he he pretty much does ignore Bulma and refuses her affections and it's pretty funny and Bulma pretty much implies that he had no choice whether to go or not to go on the trip. So Bulma's acting like the alpha over here and Vegeta's, you know, just taking it. But he's a prince of all Saiyans and whatnot. So, so Vegeta pretty um, much wanted to, uh, you know, hold his promise to Trunks six months ago that if he managed to hit him, he would take him to amusement parks. So he did, you know. <laughs> so against his will, he's honored for his son's accomplishment, even though he did punch him in the face and made him cry and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah, they go to the theme park and it's pretty funny because 
it you know Vegeta just there f just pissed off I'm, I'm talking about he's just pissed off and I'm laughing this whole time because I love Vegeta's face he's pissed off and he's it's the only thing that doesn't piss him off after the whole trunks uh, changing uh, into some clothes they buy him clothes and Vegeta didn't want to buy any clothes or whatever is uh, that they go to eat so they go and eat and they're eating a giant pig and then next is like a freaking fish and then it gets bigger and gets bigger uh, the food that they're getting until it becomes a giant octopus and so Vegeta kind of remembers of when they were flying when they went they came out of the water there's an octopus that like went across his face and he kind of like looked at the giant octopus thing and he's like oh you're mine now son it is the revenge I've been waiting for <laughs> I don't even know and he kind of like yanks the arm or the what is it called? The test testicle? I mean the tentacle? He kind of yanks the tentacle and <laughs> the tentacle. and the ink like freaking squirts out into Vegeta's freaking face and body and Vegeta gets so pissed off and he's it kind of everyone starts I mean everyone kind of like oh my god because everyone's watching and Vegeta gets pissed off and kind of starts like slowly getting really angry and then starts uh, like the the things start cracking I guess because he was getting pissed off I guess he was about to power up and um, it was really really funny and so so uh, Videl and Bulma they ended up pulling him away so pretty much it, it like skips through them going through the actual amusement park rides and whatnot you see uh, Vegeta Bulma and Trunks in inside uh, like this weird train thing you know like one of those like little kitty ride trains and Vegeta's all pissed off and then you see Trunks with a giant snow cone it just shows a lot of a lot of fun stuff that they did that Vegeta pretty much did not find fun he don't want to be there but so at night it, it, it like skips to nighttime and there's a dance going on with a little bunch of people drinking being happy and Vegeta just in the middle of all the action right and he, he tries not to get angry but he's he's really frustrated because he did admit that Goku was number one uh, when you when they fought Boo but he still doesn't want to fart like fall behind him in his training so um He's pretty much so the guy, the the MC and the audience, they kind of recognize Vegeta, just randomly, not as Vegeta, but just I guess like a random person, and they kind of like call him up, oh come up on stage, I think that's what was happening. So eventually, all the pushing and shoving of the of the audience and whatnot got him super pissed off, and he freaking like went crazy and eventually when they called him up and everyone was like yeah come on let's go he just like snapped and like Wah! and everyone just like went flying and oh holy shit and he, yeah he pretty much loses self control and flies away and Bulma isn't angry though she's actually quite surprised that he lasted so long and Trunks is proud of his father for sacrificing his pride to take him on this trip in the first place so yeah so he thanks him when he's flying away like thanks father <laughs> so while, while that is going on Beerus and Whis travel to a faraway planet, and Beerus is troubled because he cannot remember exactly the clear details of a dream he had recently, but he believes it's important, right? So we all know this dream is just about Super Saiyan God. So he's having these flashes of Super Saiyan God. Uh, so it shows this like this planet, and this guy just freaking smashing this yellow creature, smashing this dinosaur, and they whatever. And then Whis comes out, and they start having a conversation. Remember, I watched this in Japanese, so I I'm yet to know what actually the conversation was about but they had this conversation and um i guess he ends up wanting to fight beerus or him because he transforms into like a gets more powerful version he powers up into some red version of him bigger buffer guy and uh he i guess he's like the strongest in that planet and um yeah so he pretty much is no match for them though of course they're gods Whis and beerus they're like the ultimate gods god's destruction and Whis is just a trainer I don't even know, man. We used to just OP. So, he Beerus shows up, and this guy ends up trying to fight with Beerus and throwing punches and punches, and Beerus is just blocking him with one finger, and it's freaking crazy. And he's pretty much showing, like, I'm the guy of destruction, bro. You better fuck up. And the guy blasts him, like, mouth bomb, like, some one of those raccoon eraser guns, and it just, like, goes through Beerus, but Beerus is, like, behind him, and then he blasts it again, and Beerus is, like, catches it with his finger and flicks it back at him, and freaking kills him or knocks him out or whatever the fuck and so Beerus and Whis are talking and I guess they just find the planet not worthy because I mean you know they just found it not worthy because the guy was weak or whatnot so he gets his like 
blast and he drops it into the planet and the planet explodes and they watch it explode and while it's exploding you see Beerus dreaming about the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Dream, not Super Saiyan, the Super Saiyan God Dream and it's just like a giant yellow version of a looking Saiyan looking character and whatnot and so from there it skips to Elder Kai and the Kai is being like oh my god what is this and they're playing chess and whatnot and yeah and so from there it skips to Vegeta training and Vegeta's training right in that gravity and he's training 150 times gravity and he's training really really hard he's sweating and he's remembering you know Goku and it skips to Goku training and he's like across like dragging across King Kai's planet some giant weights and you know he's training real hard he's pretty much destroying King Kai's planet and yeah, so that's where the episode finished, and I'm really, really excited for episode 3, guys. So if y'all, you know, if y'all enjoyed this video, even just a bit, y'all make sure to drop that like. And y'all have an amazing blessed day. Get hyped for Dragon Ball Super episode 3, and I'll catch you guys later.